Alright guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Feaster with Outdoors in the Bluegrass and I'm out at Beaver Lake in Kentucky. Why? I'm always out here, man, because I live really close to it and it's fun to catch a bunch of fish here. However, this year has been a little bit more difficult than most. Uh, I fish this lake a lot and I can tell you this phenomenon uh, or anomaly that you're about to be told uh, happened to me once last year and it happened for a split second. Uh, and this is the second time it's happened to me this year. The first time it happened with Chad Preston back, a buddy of mine who, uh, who, uh, who fishes with me and, uh, is part of Outdoors in the Bluegrass. So it, it's, it's really cool. You gotta, you gotta take a look at it because I'm going to tell you right now, uh, it'll flip off as soon as it flips on and you gotta keep an eye out for it. You gotta know what you're looking for. And if you do, you're going to have a little bit of fun. All right. All right. Y'all have fun. Pay attention. As always, thank y'all so this much. Is something I've never seen a beaver lake before. Other than one time. Well, twice. Two other times I see them schooling out here in the middle and you can throw something right at them and catch them. Yep, there he is. <laughs> see it's weird. I mean they're small. Don't get me wrong, but it's weird they sit out here in the middle of the lake and just storm up the top. But it's fun. Out here in the middle of the lake. 25 feet deep, fishing top water, pretty much. They're still out here. Oh. <laughs> Telling you, they're not monsters, but they are fun. Fires for that one. I'm telling you, it's weird. Uh, it happened to me once last year, and it happened once this year, and now it's happening again. You better set your shoulder motor on fast. I'm telling you, it's crazy. You can sit here and catch them just one after another if you follow them out here in the middle of the lake. Got these pliers on that one too. Because you can just basically troll out here in the middle and catch them. You see them swirling. Better, better get on it. Oh, missed one. Oh, he followed it right back. <laughs> I mean, it's, they go nuts over it. I don't know what they're doing feeding out here. But they're feeding in big schools and having a blast. So am I. And I just keep spinning around. But this is fun. If you're ever out and you see all these swirls at Beaver Lake, just get you a little minnow or something shiny like a min like a shad. Oh! <laughs> and have yourself a ball. All I'm using is this little Rapala broken back right now. They're getting picky on me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're not catching monsters, but it's fun. See, that wind's kind of calmed down a little bit, and they started flipping and flopping again. I'm telling you, it is fun.
Well, that's what you do at Beaver Lake. If you see some swirling in the middle of the stinking lake, not that far from the ramp is usually where we see it. And uh, if you see it, put on something shiny, like a, something that represents a shad, toss it into them swirls, chase them around with your trolling motor, and have a blast. You're not going to catch monsters, but you're going to catch something. This is Tyler Feast with Outdoors in the Bluegrass signing off, just showing you a little bit of fun that you can have out here on the lake when it gets a little weird at Beaver Lake, Kentucky. Thank you all so much for liking and sharing all of our posts. We greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful evening.